maximum maximum physical armor. So is that a way of uh, boosting your armor and stuff, like modding it? We will take that. And this hammer. Oh, I see why I was doing cleave damage on that. Do I want to swap that bit of cleave damage? For just a more damaging thing. Generally, yes, you don't always... You're not always in a position to cleave. And it is level... Level 4, I'll take that. More crit chance. Oh, so you can crit the... Ah, oh, right. Okay. So how do we know if things have... Um, slots for this? Does it, does it list it up? I'm guessing none of this stuff does. So if I... It's not with combine with, is it? Does it just have a... Well, we'll see. I don't think anything I've got can take those at the moment, but I'm guessing. Dot in the corner of the weapon, it says in the description usually. Okay, unless that one could. No. I, I figured that would be something later on to, to come. So what else did I get? I got uh, Ifen, got some... Potentially better sandals. One physical form magic. Did I send them to Fane instead? Wait, where did I send the... Where did I send the boots to? Did I just pick them up? Oh, that's them. Mage sandals. Yeah, they're in Fane's bag. Three and nine versus one and four. I think we'll be swapping that over. A poison wand. Poison's poison's pretty good. Air can be good. Air, I, I seem to be just zapping myself with it half the time. And a fire wand. And that shield's pretty good, though. Just one wand. It's nice to have the two wands. I've got to say. Cheers. I'll keep an eye out for those weapons and armor things then. Uh, one thing we do want to do and switch around is because I've been forgetting to do it. Uh, did I not learn that bolt? He can do that now. Where's that? Where's that zapping bolt? The shackles of pain. Uh, mark a target so it receives all the damage you receive. Damage transfer in this way ignores any resistances. That is quite good. That would be good for... That would be very good for a tank, I think, that's in close proximity. Infect. Deals a ton of physical damage. Infect a target with a disease that will spread to other nearby characters. Right, that looks also good. That's a lot of physical damage too. 15 meter range. Uh, hang on. These, these look like good skills. This wasn't what I intended for this character, but uh, we're getting these on. And Death Wish. Set Death Wish 2 for two turns. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. I might not bother with that just yet. Um, I've learnt these on Ifen. I've got to remember that. Dimensional Bolt. That was that was one I wanted. Requires summoning one. Wait, hang on. What skills? You have nothing in necromancy, but you've got summoning one. Okay, yep, I'll take that. Learn skill. I'll slot that out instead of something else. Oh, no, he's still got it, so I must have had a spare slot. Excellent. And the power infusion, that's really for this guy, because you've got that, haven't you? And we can't use that yet. Right, so we've got some skills learned. <laughs> it is a tricky job managing all these skills and stuff. But now we can zap a bit. And also, on Ithan skills, we need to swap out Decaying... Ah, oh, Decaying Touch. Now that does a lot of damage now. Restore Vitality equal to damage dealt. That is excellent. Resisted by physical armor, physical armor. 15 meter range, 2 meter range. Yeah, let's, let's switch those. Can we not? Can we just 
Can I just do that? Hang on, take that out then. Set that one in. Also, I have a lot of extra things now. There's the Shackles of Pain. Hmm. Might be good. Uh, the Infect was really good. So what was I not liking? I don't use this Bloodsucker a lot. Then again, when you do use them. I need more memory slots. That's what we need. But that, that looks excellent, but especially for opening a fight with. I'll do without my raining blood for now. And I'll put that in. So I've now got zap, bang, special effects going off. And the blood sucker. Yeah, go on. Forget that one. And we'll put the shackles of pain in. Which I might not use as much. We'll see. We'll see. And you? <laughs> He's still got room for two more. Okay, he needs to learn some, some new skills. Right, so after all that, there was no keys. We have no lockpicks that I know of. We don't have the option to pick the lock. Uh, attack. That doesn't look like it's going to go into... Oh, I, I can do it. It's just going to take a long time. We'll give it a helping hand, eh? There we go. Halfway down already. That better crossbow is quite good at nuking through uh, stuff. What have we got there, then? Gold and a sky shot. Sky shot sounds good. Ooh, what's this? Beast, you have picked up just what you needed. Leap into the air. This is going to look so funny. Before shooting, gaining damage bonuses for your superior height. Deals physical damage. Receives high ground bonuses regardless of elevation. One memory slot. Damage is based on your basic attack. Receives a bonus from finesse. Excellent. Well, that's, that seems perfect. Straight on. Just a, just a regular attack. Use the same amount of points. That's excellent. Okay, so we've, we've we've killed all them. Let's go in here. I want to get up there. Is there a way around? Oh. Oh, there is. There is. I don't see anything... Target is too heavy. I don't see anything worth going down there for. So let's go and see if there's anything over here. Have I been in that room? I've been in there and looted it, haven't I? Oh, but there's a locked chest. Did we not get into that? Why did I leave a locked chest? Somehow, we have not... Uh, we have neglected this one. Don't know why. In your replay, your level 15 tank almost has the entire hotbar with skills. Yeah, memory is nice. It's just because of the cooldowns, you need a good variety of skills to use. Oh, why is it not let me... I must have had the wrong camera angle or something. What do we get from that? A scroll? A peace of mind scroll? I'll send that to... Um... Can I not send it to someone? I'll just pick it up then. And a simple ring with five magic armor. Cool. Oh, well, that was worth getting. Uh, let's see. You do get set on fire a lot for some reason. So you can actually have the five magic armor. Beast is, is turning into a really good character here. So, wait, hang on. No, that's not, that's not a chest. I could go outside and kill the magisters there. That would allow me to come through this door. Though, for what reason I want to come through there, I'm not entirely sure. I don't need to now, because I can come out uh, one of these other ones. So I think, is that that bit done? We're done in there. There's a pile of books. This has got to be something. The Hall of Penitence. Uh, 
The sin of source is inborn. We are all of us marked by the strange power, both creative and destructive. It is no wonder some are seduced to manipulate it. Still, there is a stark difference between that which is understandable and that which is permissible. The sin of source has no place within our realm. Time and again, it has gone rancid within its hosts, been used to torture and kill, called beasts of unspeakable horror into our midst. It cannot continue. Yeah, used to torture and kill, which is exactly what they're doing here. Can I take that? I'll have it. What have we got in here? A barrel of some sort. Now, this wouldn't be here unless there was something in it. Would there? <laughs> it's a trick. Oh, actually. Oh, wait. Have I just thrown myself down a ladder? I thought it might extend it. I've taken a shortcut down. I didn't really want to be down here, did I? Uh, what's the quickest way back in, then? Fort Joy Dungeons? I think we'll go to the Fort Joy Dungeons. <laughs> I didn't look at it thinking, it's a short ladder, but they won't go down it if it's too short, surely. Oh, little did I know. Is anyone left in here we have to rescue or at least persuade? Should I try the woman next door again? God! Help me! Help Leave her to a raving. Help Help yeah, we've, we've tried that a few times. Who's that one there? Zillick, I remember. Sir Laura. Sir Laura. Was he the one? I think he was the one who uh, was helping people escape. Right, so. Not there. We've messed up the dog quest. Where did we... Oh, this was a fight. Okay. So I want to be in here. I want to see if there's anything left. I think I've got everything, haven't I? There's one barrel. Is that all I came back for? Okay. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. There's the blacksmith tinkerer person I think I need to go and see still. If I go through there, it's just going to be fighting all the way through, isn't it? So we get out the other side, which I am fine with. Do I want to go back to the town square? Zoom out. It's still showing a red marker to, to, to go and talk to Nabora. So let's go and talk to... Let's go to the Fort Joy Square. And I'll just go in the front door in future of this place. We'll have a fight. As, uh, as need be. Yeah, everyone's showing quite aggressive now. <laughs> I wonder why. Two Magisters. Yeah, straight into a fight. That's fine. That actually quite suits me. What's the range on this? Not quite enough. Right, so if we go... Encourage! And then we go one. And I'm going to go try and knock down Magister Sevek. With a charge. Smack! Well, I'm into combat anyway, so that's good. Grenades. Really? Oh, that is that is so... So cheesy. Uh, the magic armor? Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got to do this now. Should we do this? The Shackles of Pain. It's a one-pointer. And that's a three-pointer. Can we reach, though? Yes, we can. Shackles. Decay. Oh, it's all resisted by 
physical armor, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I've got to get used to getting those armors down. We're all blind. We're all on fire. Blinded is a problem, but I can at least get one fixed. I'll get um, Beast fixed. I think he's got the best attack. Shame it doesn't do all of us. Having said that, it doesn't necessarily matter with this character. Because what I can do is then I can ignite and poison. Does this... Yeah, that's limited. I thought it would be. Right, so these, these aren't, though. Oh, but it's reduced. It's not... Hang on, I can... I'll go forward to... To there. Is that going to get him? I think it's going to get him. Yep. And then I shall also ignite. Should be a little bit careful with that because it might then catch other people out here that I wasn't anticipating. Uh, you're the one we want, I think. I'm going to I'm going to do uh, my new aerial leap, surely. That is a hell of a spring up. And then one good shot here should do the job. If we're lucky. And we are. For once. Does he get an extra turn or does he just go twice for some reason? Well, we'll just... I think we'll just shoot this guy twice. Too far. In that case, we won't. We'll go forwards to there. We'll get our... We'll get that, and then we shall set him on fire. Well, we won't, but we'll do a bit of damage on each. Crippling blow. Not a problem. Don't want to... Do want to... 2 AP to go and hit him. Let's just hit him. Smack. Right. Now we can use our crippling blow back. meaty hit I seem to be all my good spells I've got now are all about casting plague and pestilence we'll zap the bastard what have we got here I've got this. What's this one? This dimensional bolt deals uh, random damage type and then creates a corresponding surface. Which could be good. Or I could zap him with the fiery things. I can do both, actually. Let's do this first and see what surface we get. So I want to see what this does. Well, it actually puts an air surface, which is what, smoke or steam? Or is it water? Well, anyway, we shall hit him with this to follow up. Okay, the spells are coming together now. We're getting a, a few together. Although we outnumbered that guy two to one, so, you know, it wasn't the fairest of tests. Already rested. Nice. Knock down arrow, send to beast. Send to Ifen, I don't think he's got one. Oh, I feel like we're we're in command now. We're just knocking these uh, bad guys out of the park. Sweetheart. There was a conversation to be had to get someone's collar off. If I kill all the magisters, can these people then go home? Right, is that, um, that's Nabora, right? I need to talk to you, it says, for this quest. She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wink before returning to her work. Good to see you. You take care now. And don't you let me down. Are you selling anything that we can use to remove these collars any further? No, she's got a stack of gold, so let me just sell these, these photos that we've picked up. A light golden teaspoon. And a plate. Yeah, we do like to loot. 
I'm getting rid of those. A richly bound book. Must be worth a pretty penny. It's worth one. It's not worth anything. A kitchen knife. An improvised staff. A magister's sword. A fancy shell. A puffball. A sticky letter. History of forbidden objects. And a jar of mine maggots, although I don't know. Someone said to keep those. So we will. But we'll clear those out. Anyone else got crap to sell? Made shoes. Niles notes. Keep those for now, just in case. Learn that a scrapbook. I'll keep the logbook just in case. Wait, those are pants. Oh wow. Okay, but it requires strength eleven. I should be wearing this stuff. And some magical daggers. Go on, then. cash that in. We'll take all that. Thank you very much. Right, so let me take a look in the quest log because, end. The one that we've got selected, keep calm and carrying. The book contains the location of an altar where death heralds would summon a creature called Duna's Undertaker. Its feathers are used to make armor, that's something else. Escape from Reaper's Eye, escape the fort, find a way to the island, seek and you shall find. That's fine, we can go that way. The Vault of Bracchus Rex. A raid on an ancient vault ended badly for the thief who planned it, perhaps. We... See, there's this one. We need to find that. But there's also... Why was that other... Why was that list... Why is that listed as red? Is that not a quest marker? Hey, Piranha Man. Yeah, it's a quest marker. So why is that listed as red? I don't see that I've got a quest for her. Can one of these people talk to her? Let's try. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal. And what you after? Hmm. Uh, what you making? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Ask how you got your hands on these contraptions. Ask what she has for sale. Suggest she should let you take some of her wares away for testing before you decide whether they're worth the gold. Outlaw. I don't want to do that. Found it in the scrap heap not so long. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined, oh, I, don't I know. think I've been, I've been through she all these options before. Soul, quiet, loved her family. People do change. Did she invent the collars? She nods once. Are you looking to buy something, or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? How are the collars made? Magic and metal, like most of Dallas's. For you? <laughs> Hell no. Ask who might be worthy of her services. Worthy is exactly the right word. Yeah. Hmm. Is there any way, Avenji, of getting of getting her to take more than one collar off? Because I can't go back through the arena uh, with the other characters to fight. It won't let me. Am I going to have a fight? Hang on, there's uh, there's a pile of bad guys here. Let's form up. Let's save the game. Let's form up. You can only do one. Okay, I will not waste my time with that anymore. It's just annoying me that it's showing me a quest marker. So it makes me think I'm, I'm missing something. I should be doing something extra, but maybe not. Oh, a dog's one of them. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, hopefully those two are going to be out of range up there. Magister Boris. Magister Timory. Is he in range? So I wonder. Oh, but they've all got so much flipping armor. What about this thing? Hitting with the magical armor, I think, is going to be the, the way to go. Do we have any surfaces? Not yet. I'm just zapping with a bloody wand then. Go on then, we'll just zap the dog. Dog's got a lot of hit points. 